Hi, my name is Fabian Guignard and I am one of the Unibe Venture Fellows 2023. My project concentrates on the difficulty of choosing the optimal wheat variety. Ultimately, I'm trying to help the agricultural sector to choose the best variety according to geographical location and its environment. And I'm also providing data science services to this sector. The variety choice is important for adapting crops to climate change in order to maintain a certain crop yield, but also to maintain the protein content of the wheat which translates into quality for the food industry. I'm developing a company named Greensight, which operates at the intersection of data science and agronomy. We use data such as meteorological and genetical data, measurement of wheat yield and protein content, and use predictive modeling to give personalized recommendations. And uh, the Venture Fellowship allows me to concentrate on the commercial and entrepreneurial aspect of my research project. At some point, my research partners and I realized that we could improve current wheat varietal recommendations by using advanced statistical tools. And based on this observation, I realized that I could potentially extend this idea more generally to developing new digital decision-making tools for the agriculture based on data science and artificial intelligence, which is Greensight's main mission. I think it's the role of universities to create a supportive environment for innovation. And uh, as many ideas emerge from research, Training researchers in entrepreneurship helps to bridge the gap between the academic world and the business world. And in this context, I don't think the University of Bern is behind. It's quite the opposite, actually. The University of Bern has been kind enough to provide me with everything I need for my project, in particular for the business part. The support and the coaching is provided by experienced experts, and I think this is an invaluable resource from the University of Bern. Of course, and this is already the case, some AI tools come directly from statistics, which have a long history in common with agriculture. Agronomic problems have stimulated a large number of methodologies and statistical models. And today, the ubiquity of smartphones, digitalization, and the growing power of computers allow modeling possibilities that were not possible in the past. And this creates a wide range of opportunities, both in terms of agronomy and in terms of statistics and computation. And that's what makes working at the intersection of this field so fascinating.